going to be hard. At this point, I don't know that he's got a car that's able to, to run the lap times. Has to be overheating that right rear tire. Yeah, that car is really moving around Ryan Truex car is, and Logano, he is just on it right now. I mean, six laps to go is a long way around this racetrack as fast as Joey Logano is catching Truex. Uh, now he doesn't need this. Look out. Yeah, Look wrong out. That's time. trouble. Wow. Yeah, he did not Here need comes that. Logano. That killed him. That yeah. killed him. Hang on. No. New leader, Joey Logano. Stay with him. Five to go. Stay with him. One lap to go. Bring it home, bud. Bring it home. There's your, there's your stories of the day summed up in that one camera shot. The six all beaten up and off the pace, and the 18 out front leading. For Joey Logano, he's going to have led 154 of 200 laps. He's going to pick up another win at Dover. And Joe Gibbs Racing gets a one, two, three sweep. Logano wins it, Truex second, Brian Scott third. And on the other side of that coin, heartbroken for the moment. Ryan Truex. Don't get down. No, he drove a good race too. Your time's coming. Timothy Peters was very aggressive with his push to Ryan Truex. And look at Sauter. He's trying to crowd down on Truex. A lot of door banging going on at the front. They're still dead even. Christopher Bell lost a little ground to Sauter. Look at that inside line going. You can't push. You Keep can't on that consistently line, push. Keep on the yellow line now. Don't get too far out. Right there. Doing good. Doing good. Looking good. Looking good. Three of y'all in the breakaway here now. Three of Truex. We're not Peters. One, two. We're not done from hearing from Johnny Sauter. Johnny's going to have a big run. Truex hey, trying to keep now. the field Come behind him. Keep it behind you. Keep it behind you. Keep it behind you. Run to go. Run to go. The white flag is out. They're going to crash. Sauter with a big run. They're crashing. Christopher Bell upside down. To the checkered flag, but the yellow is out. And Johnny Sauter will win the season opener at Daytona, and Chevrolet will go to victory lane for the first time in the uh, at Daytona in the truck Boy, That is awesome to see there, see guys. Window net down, and Christopher Bell coming out. A lot of people breathing a sigh of relief right there. Wow, what a ride taken by Christopher Bell. That was incredible. That was scary. That truck was running nearly 190 miles an hour when it started flipping. And uh, fortunately for us and for Christopher Bell, NASCAR has done a great job with the safety of these trucks. Johnny Sauter takes the checkered flag and is the winner. We'll let Ryan Truex continue to squeeze him down like that. I think he's going to hold his ground one of these laps, and there's going to be contact. There he goes, Bell. No. Oh. Wow. Just by the slimmest of margins. I was holding my breath there till they got off the quarter. I've been holding my breath the last five laps. I'm, I'm just sure that on this tight little mile track where contact is something we're used to seeing, there's going to be some. We know how important the win is to Christopher Bell, but remember, he doesn't want to take a chance and give up a bunch of points. Look how hard he's going to drive it down in there. Oh, wow. He's not He's not going to let up this time. Bell gets the spot. Truex is not able to fight back. Tries to, but Bell closes the door. Uses the lap truck in front of him of Chavis. Oh, a little bit loose there. Right now, Christopher Bell said, I need a little bit of a cushion. I need to get me a few truck links over this Truex truck. Wow. Give I, me a good corner. Man, I'll tell you what, Bell drove that thing in there deep. Without the opportunity of going to a green white checker. Christopher Bell swept stage 
won and two and then won the race at Atlanta. Flag, come back no matter what here. He's trying to do it again today of a clean sweep. This is a battle for the 10th position. Briscoe has really gained on Grala in the last few laps. Caught him and had a little bit of contact. You wouldn't, you wouldn't believe how fast this 29 truck has been the last 10, 15 laps. This is a playoff point they're battling off over. They need that position. Christopher Bell going to close the door on Ryan Truex. Bell on his way to a seventh career win. Christopher Bell opens the postseason with a victory at New Hampshire. And now he just wants to see the white flag, as Eric said, and he's going to get it this time around. The white flag is waving one lap to go, white sponsored by white. Credit One Bank. That is one good feeling when you see that white flag and you've been leading all day long and seeing that thing and knowing you're coming back. The lap traffic shouldn't be a problem down the back straightaway. 116 laps led for Kyle Busch. A little desert domination as driver 18 gets his 11th win at Phoenix. He's finished second twice, once at Dover, once here in 2019. He was driving for Junior Motorsports on that Saturday afternoon. The advantage almost six-tenths of a second. We'll see three laps to go next time around for Sammy Smith, who's trying to close the deal. Yeah, it seems like he's just kind of stuck there at that half a second back. I mean, it's, it, that's one mistake away, though, right? Like, it, it's not a huge gap. Half a number less on entry, man. It's not entry. It's exit. Come on. Focus. The extra motivation from the spotter. You look at Sammy Smith, four tires underneath it on, on you know, the one-third part of the corner. I mean, it's, it's an interesting line. Oof. How much do you, do you want to know here about what's happening behind you if you're Sammy Smith? And if you're the team, how much do you share with a young driver as he gets two to go this time? Well, you Everything. Gotta, yeah, you got to you got to feed him information and you got to try to help him keep his nerves calm so that you minimize the loss. You just want to minimize the loss of time. If you make a mistake or you, you know, you, you try a different line or whatever the case is, you don't want to lose a half a second. You want to lose a half a tenth. And, and that's really what you're trying to do is keep him focused on the things he needs to be focused on, not worrying about whether he's going to win this race. Side by side for third, Chandler Smith underneath Kyle Busch. White flag is waving in Phoenix. One lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. One mile to victory for Sammy Smith. He's 18 years old out of Johnston, Iowa. He's a high school senior. Same thing at three and four here. Fundamental three and four, no change. During the week, he's taking classes online. On the weekends, he's driving for Joe Gibbs Racing. Today, he gets an A plus. Sammy Smith wins at Phoenix. He'd been second on multiple occasions, including right here at Dover. Today, he officially climbs the mountain.